a decapitated woman's body in the woods. Who is responsible for the gruesome act? Don't miss out. The shocking revelation and the penitence of the deceased woman's daughter. The victim's ghost will reveal the whole truth about her death to the psychics. This is Psychic Investigations, a channel of exclusively true and shocking stories. Here, people who call themselves clairvoyants unravel complex criminal cases and find explanations for unbelievable paranormal phenomena. Mother Missing. This young woman posted these desperate flyers on the streets of her town. Her name is Olha. In the fall of 2017, everyone was searching for her mother, Olena Hrishina, who went missing under mysterious circumstances. It was an ordinary Saturday. She left after two o'clock. A friend had called her there and they talked, so I thought she went with her. Olha lived in the same apartment with her mother and her little daughter, whom she raises alone. As such, when Olena didn't return home a few hours later, Olha called her, but it turned out that her mother had left her phone at home, and the friend who had spoken to her earlier that day hadn't seen her. Where could the woman have gone? She called me to say her mother had disappeared. I asked, what do you mean she disappeared? Desperate, Olha called all her mother's friends, but no one had seen her. After that, she went to the police. At the police station, they told Olha that as an adult, her mother might have gone somewhere without informing her daughter. However, they still accepted Olha's application and initiated the search. Olha, burdened with her little daughter, was on the verge of panic. She didn't know what to do. Her mother's colleagues were also worried when they didn't see her at work on Monday. The woman was the best design engineer in the town and took her job very seriously. Dozens of people joined the search for Olena her daughter, friends, colleagues, and neighbors. But it was all in vain. Ola's mother seemed to vanish into thin air. Then, a month after her disappearance, a phone call shattered Ola's heart. Her mother was found dead. Olena Hrishina's body was discovered by a man who was picking mushrooms in a forest outside the town, five kilometers from her home. The investigators decided not to cause extra stress for Olha and instead invited Olena's friend for the identification because her body was in a horrifying state. I'm still shocked. Why the woman ended up so far from home or how she got into that forest remains a mystery. No public transport runs there. There are no even bus stops or people's homes in the area. The family doesn't own a car. The few taxi drivers in the small town didn't pick her up. The cause of Olena's death is also unclear, as her body lay in the forest for over a month. Her face was completely gone. From the photos, I could see that she was lying there without her head. The locals were horrified. Could someone have decapitated her on purpose? We were all shocked. No murder weapons were found near the body, nor were there any traces of blood. This may suggest that Olena was killed elsewhere, and her body was later transported and dumped in the forest. But anyway, the motive remains unclear to me. Olena left home without any jewelry on or her phone. She didn't take her wallet either. According to her daughter, she had no enemies. She never borrowed or lent money. Then why would anyone want to kill her mother? Did she have a spontaneous conflict with someone? Or did she witness something that led to such a brutal murder? To find out what happened to her mother, Olha went to the police station. She wanted to review the case materials, but was denied access. They said I didn't fit the victim profile, even though I do. And they said I didn't need it, that I'm nobody. As it turns out, they closed the case altogether. The criminal investigation was closed due to the absence of evidence of a criminal offense. There are no results from the examination. The cause of death remains unknown. So why did they close Olena Hrishina's case? But even if Olha's mother died naturally, how did she end up so far away from home? Why was she found over there in the woods? Olha can't come to terms with the idea that she'll never see her mother again. I miss your support, your words, and your hugs. I want the murderer to be found. I have no hope in the police. She was a very, very kind person. We want to know who did this. Our project's experts, Jana Shulakova and Olga Kalinova, embark on the investigation of the woman's mysterious death. 
I saw Olena being strangled by a man. Was Olena really strangled? But who did this and why? While working with her photo, I didn't notice the mother, but I saw her daughter. She didn't look like in the photo, though. Her hair was gray and she was dead. I can't say what it means yet. The next morning, the psychics arrive at the place where the victim's daughter lives. She's waiting for them, along with her mother's friend. Hello. Hello. The cards are telling me that you know what happened to your mother. She told you everything while you were sleeping. Yes, yes, I had a dream. She said someone murdered her. Did she tell you who her murderer was? This is horrific, but who and why took her life? I see a strange image. Olena is holding a heart in her hands, and there is a knife sticking out of the heart. Strange. Jana Shulakova had seen male hands around Olena's neck. Could she have been strangled and then stabbed? However, the police didn't find any knife wounds on the body. Then why was her head severed? The cards indicated that the woman's death was connected to people close to her. If only I had known what that meant. To find out what happened to your mother, we need to talk to her spirit. We need to go to the cemetery. Sure. I felt the touch of a dead young woman on my hand. The woman whose spirit I see is like a mirror image of her. How can this be? My sister. It turned out that Olha had a twin sister who died six months before their mother. Did that mean I'd seen her the other day? With your sister's death, you lost a part of yourself, as you were twins and there was a strong, energetic connection between you. When she died, I didn't want to live. Here is her grave. All his two dearest people are buried side by side. What was your sister's name? Helena. Why did she die? The doctor said because of the heart. A young woman of 23 unexpectedly dies from a heart attack. How is this even possible? She had no heart problems. She never complained about anything. There's a man who has something to do with your sister's death. A few days before her death, she was terrified. Someone was watching her. A shocking revelation. Two deaths in the family within just six months. Could the same person be responsible for the daughter's and mother's deaths? I see your sister sitting with a piece of paper in her hands. There's a suitcase next to her, but she's dead. Yes, yes. She studied at a university in the city, majoring in accounting. She was planning to come home, but she never arrived. We found her on the bed sitting, then the police and ambulance arrived. It's awful. For three days, nobody knew that the student's lifeless body was in her dorm room. I can't imagine what your mother went through. It was a heavy blow for her. After her daughter's sudden death, the woman seemed to lose the will to live. She didn't eat or drink, and she spent her days weeping at her daughter's grave. It was a very hard time for her. Wait, why do I see Helena lying in the coffin with her hair fair? She turned gray. Like I saw in my vision. Your sister's hair turned gray a few days before her death. Two days before it happened, she called me and said her hair had turned gray. I thought it was just a single gray hair like I occasionally have. But then when I saw that her hair was completely gray, I got scared. She was going to come home to tell her mother what had happened to her, but she was late. Yes, yes, she wanted to talk. Helena's spirit didn't reveal who was responsible for her death. She kept covering her face with her hands and crying. I decided to connect with the spirit of her mother.
Olena's spirit came, but for some reason, she remained silent, just like her daughter. It struck me as very strange that she didn't say who killed them. They only showed me the image of a window with a woman who resembled your mother, holding flowers. There's Olena's portrait in Olha's apartment. And there are flowers in that picture. I gave her those flowers for her birthday. It seems like a clue. We need to check your apartment. I'm having a vision. A young man is strangling your mother. He's shouting, I'll kill you. It's all happening in the apartment. Show us where you live. Hello, I was shocked. The man from my vision, the one that strangled Olena, was standing in front of us. What's your name? Vitaly. And how are you related to Olha? I came to visit my family. It turns out this is the father of Olha's daughter. She says their relationship is hard to define as a family. Vitaly lives in other town and only visits his daughter once every few months. Explain to me, please, why your hands were around her mother's neck. My hands weren't around her neck. They were. Did her mother complain about him? Of course she did. Um, what, what did she say? That he strangled her. Ten days before Olena disappeared, he arrived here. And he tried to strangle her. But he denies everything. Olha swears she didn't witness Vitaly strangling her mother. But when she learned about it from her mother's friend, she tried to find out what had really happened. All right, Vitaly, tell the truth. Look. It's unbelievable. The picture of Olena almost fell off the wall in front of everyone. And I got so scared. Olena wants you to tell the truth. Do you know why he tried to strangle her to get the apartment? That's not true. But Vitaly, it is true. He threatened her, saying that Olha was registered in the apartment and she should give it to him. Did you say you would kill her? I never said that. We argued, yes, and I expressed my personal opinion. He tried to evict your mother from her own home. She was very frightened. He threatened her, saying he'd kill her. Olena kicked him out, and he said it right to her face. I'll kill you. Olena went to the police three times, but they didn't react. It's terrible. Did Olena's would-be son-in-law really threaten to kill her? As far as I understand, your sister was also registered in this apartment, right? Yes, yes. Did Vitaly know where your sister lived? Yes, yes. Vitaly found out that the three women lived in the apartment and had nobody to protect them. I told him, you got rid of Helena and then of Olena. I said it into his face. I decided to talk to Helena's spirit. I need something that belonged to her. Do your tricks. These are not tricks. I see everything. She came to tell the truth about her death. But why does she say she's not like everyone else? My sister was born with cerebral palsy. Ola says that when they were born, the doctors claimed that one of the twins would never be able to walk. But mom did the impossible with all those massages. Your mother devoted her life to your sister's health. Did your mother raise you alone? Did your father abandon her? Elena got pregnant, and when he found out it was twins, he immediately left. It was extremely hard for your mother, but she never gave up. She dedicated herself to both of you. But are the deaths of Elena and her daughter really Vitaly's fault? Helena's spirit is here. She's showing me a man harassing her. He wants to rape her. It's not true. I never lay a finger on her. Quiet. Your sister says, I didn't know the man who harassed me. At the same time, Olha's sister 
knew Vitali, so it means he didn't kill her. Olha, did she tell you anything about the man who harassed her? Yes. She told me that while she was waiting for a bus at a stop, a man approached her and offered her sex. She burst into tears. The man stalked her. He threatened to kill her, and then he assaulted her. She managed to escape at the last moment. Helena was so stressed that she turned gray overnight. But she couldn't survive the shock. The poor girl's heart stopped from the stress. The cards told me that the man who tried to rape Helena had no connection to her mother's death. So perhaps Vitali isn't indeed involved in her death. I didn't touch her mother. I don't see blood on him. The workers of the railway depot where Vitali works confirm his alibi. Olha, even after her death, your mother doesn't want you to be with Vitali. Mom never liked him. Why? Because he never helped. Mom paid for everything. And what do you do for this child? I help as much as I can. I sensed that Vitali had someone else. He lies to you. He has another woman. And he gives all his money to her. So what? He made sure I fell in love with him. I trusted him. How stupid I was. A good husband he is. Your mother's spirit wanted us to help you, Olha. Find out the truth about Vitali. She suffered a lot because such a man was around you. But we still needed to find out what happened to the woman. The last place where we could get information was the forest where her body was found. I'm tuning into the day when she disappeared. I hear a quarrel. Olena argues with someone. It's you, Olha. Yes, because of Vitali. It turned out that whenever the mother tried to warn her daughter about Vitali, Olha, blinded by love, would defend him. As such, she would often argue with her mother. I see that she's alone. It's not a murder. After the investigation by the psychics, the police, detectives confirmed this version based on a series of forensic examinations. The woman was not a victim of violence. According to the forensics, the woman's head separated from the body itself as a result of decay. Then what happened to Olena? How come her body was found in the woods? Your mother left home in emotional chaos and wandered into the unknown. She didn't even realize how far she had gone. She simply wanted to be alone. She cried all the time because inner pain tore her apart. Her life had been so difficult. What do the clairvoyant's words mean? Could it be suicide? There was someone else your mother argued with that day. It's an elderly woman. She argued with Grandma, too. As it turned out, earlier on the day of her disappearance, Olena visited her 80-year-old mother and returned home in tears. She said she wasn't the daughter she was supposed to be and that Helena died because of her. She said she hadn't lived up to her expectations. She says, I didn't take my own life. A strong woman like her wouldn't commit suicide. Your mother didn't understand how she was supposed to go on living. She lost faith. Her two most precious people, her daughters, were both gone. One was taken by death, and the other turned away from her. Even her mother considered her a failure. She felt unwanted. Olena experienced bitter disappointment and loneliness. She couldn't bear it. 
Her heart broke. I saw the wounded heart at the beginning of the investigation. She died because she lost the purpose of life. She's here now, she says. Olha, I love you so much. And I want you to be happy. May your heart not break like mine did. You have to change your life. I think I really need to break up with that man because there's no future with him. Your mother left you hope. Live your life for yourself and for your sister. If you're impressed by the story, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Many more amazing investigations are coming up.